Scorpio. This is going to be your reading for November 1st through the 14th, bi-weekly. This reading is also going to have an extended version, the Nitty Gritty, which is in the, um, the link is going to be listed below the video. Just click on it, it takes you to my website. And then once you guys pay for it, it's going to ask for your email address, okay? So make sure you put a valid email address in there because once you pay for it, then you'll receive a link to view the video. So just keep that in mind, okay? And um, and that extended is like $2.99. Okay, let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio is my north node. What's going on with Scorpio? And what's funny is even when I am, um, like I've watched videos who are Aries, which is what I watch most of the time, it always says something about um, Scorpio. So I feel like I may exhibit a lot of the scorpion traits here. <laughs> so I just think it's funny. Like just about every reading that I have ever viewed. Okay. What's going on with Scorpio? One more shuffle, guys. Scorpio. What's going on with my Scorpios? Uh, I know the one thing about Scorpios is um, when they cut you off, it's a wrap on that. And I am like that. We have the High Priestess, mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles, the Moon, Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Knight of Swords. We have the Sun reversed. Mm. And the Queen of Cups now and, and this is just, I'm just going to say this because I try to make sure, I don't like reading cards in reverse. The only time I, I like, I mean, I will do it because I don't ever like to do it is when like I'm shuffling and it pops out that way or just like I just pulled it. Um, I don't know how it ended up in reverse, but it ended up that way. And so... We're just going to go from there. Then we have the Page of Wands under the bottom. Divine timing. Starting something new. Something something is happening. Okay. That is yet to be seen. Alright. So, you're very, very intuitive. We all, we all know that anyway. But High Priestess comes out. First card. Very important. Very significant. You're very intuitive. Okay. And I feel like, I feel like you are very, you are able to see through the bull crap with very little effort, I feel like. No matter how dark it seems, no matter how foggy it seems, it's like you push right through it. You see right through it. Very, very intuitive, very psychic, very. I also feel like that for a lot of you, and I'm gonna go out on a limb and say a lot of you, um, communicate with the other through dreams maybe, um, like you feel each other almost, like you visit each other. In, in dreams.
I really feel like that. That that that's coming coming through strongly right there. But um, I feel like you know you were you gave this person a whole lot of yourself in the past. Okay. A whole lot of yourself in the past and I feel like but now you you are really enlightened and you want to start you want to start something anew you're wanting to you're wanting to offer something but something substantial Something substantial. It's like you want to start something and not really know how to start it. Like being confused almost a little bit here and being stuck with the Five of Cups, like stuck in the past and, you know, having regrets and being sorrowful, um, feeling kind of down in the dumps for some reason. And I'm trying to see why. This is where you are right now. Let me let me look at this, guys. Let me see. I feel like. I feel like you're being offered something very, very divine, very, that you're not really seeing, like you're not seeing it. You're too focused on what happened in the past you're not receiving the love that you felt like you should have received the love that you put out like you didn't you, you felt like you didn't receive get that back but right now you're being offered a gift from the universe that you're not seeing here with this five of cups You, 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 with the Knight of Swords being here, it's like you're stuck on, um, you're, you're stuck on something in the past. You're stuck on something somebody said. You're stuck on things that you said. And see, this, the sun is reversed because the universe is trying to, like there's something being offered to you that you're not seeing that could bring you a lot of happiness and turn this right side up. That you're not seeing here. You've got your back to it. Because it's like you want to you are ready to like cut somebody with with your words here like you're on defense i feel like you got your hand on the sword get your hand off the sword don't be defensive let this gift come in and with the gift i feel like yes this cancer gemini energy right here i feel or maybe another Scorpio. But I feel like this person loves you. Is trying to offer you something that you're not really seeing. Maybe you're not seeing this person for who they really are. Maybe you're not seeing them for who they really are. But you know what? We're going to check this thing out in the nitty gritty. So if you guys are interested, come on over and join me, okay? Okay.